Hello. Have you ever wanted to install your own camera into a bird box to see your young birds grow up? Well, here's how. Hello and welcome to Wildlife Box. Thanks for joining me today. Now you may have seen my previous video on how to build a bird box from scratch. If not, then it should be appearing somewhere around here or in the description below. Now, you may be wondering what this box is. Well, I've ordered a bird box camera to go in that bird box which I've just built. This is from Green Feathers, who produce bird box cameras. And um, let's check it out. It's an IP camera. So let's get the box open and see what it's like. So inside we have, first of all, the bird box camera and a nice little box there. We have this long Ethernet cable. I think this is 30 meters long. Um, now this is a wired bird box camera. You can get Wi-Fi versions as well. Um, and this is a HD camera um, and it, the signal from the, the video and the, the audio from the camera comes down this long ethernet cable. Um, so what else we got? We have another little box here and we've got another smaller ethernet cable and a nice manual as well. A um, HDIP bird box camera kit quick start guide. So that's very good. So first of all, let's, let's have a look at what we've got. So this bird box camera kit, let's open the box. So inside we have this, which I believe is the camera. I'll just open that up. Okay, yeah, this is this is the camera. So we have um, a mounting bracket here, and then um, it's got the lens at the front, obviously. Um, I think there's probably a microphone somewhere there as well. Probably that that bit at the front. Mm. I'm not sure. Might might be around the side. Um, now it's got a lens cap on at the moment. If I just take that off, let's see. Okay, yeah, so we've got the lens here. It looks like you can turn it to focus, which is great. So that'll be really handy when we install it inside the bird box. We want to focus to make sure the bird's coming in and, um, and any chicks inside are in focus. So you want to do that before, obviously, the birds arrive. Okay, so that's great. Um, at the other end of the bird camera, we have uh, two connections. Um, one is a power connection here. Um, I haven't actually got a, a power cable um, because I've opted for a different option, um, which I'll explain in a minute. Um, but there's also an ethernet connection here. So this um, main cable will plug in to this ethernet port and the power will actually come over the ethernet cable and not through this uh, separate power connection. This power connection is only if you don't have what's called power over ethernet. Um, and I've gone for the power over ethernet option, just thought it was simpler, just having one cable um, which the power comes over. Okay, so that's great. So we have the camera there. Um, we've got some little uh, screws to attach it into the bird box. Um, we have a little uh, waterproof casing. This goes on the ethernet cable to keep the, um, the, the cable from getting any water in it inside it. Um, and then we've got this second um, ethernet cable, um, which I think comes in handy with what's inside this box. So in here we've got the power over ethernet 
So this is a, a little unit which um, you plug in and then uh, it will connect to your router and power the bird camera. Great, so that's excellent. And then we've also got this quick start guide. So in here, I believe there's, there's ways of, of setting up the camera um, and, um, and also gives you, if you're using your own bird box, which you've built yourself, which I am, um, it tells you the exact measurements of where to put the camera as well in the bird box so you get the maximum view. And this is about 210 millimeters from the bottom of the, um, the bird box. So that's quite helpful information. It also tells you useful stuff about how to uh, view the images from your bird camera. Um, they can be viewed uh, on a PC or on a, a phone or tablet as well, uh, wirelessly, which is great, um, providing your, your device is connected to your, your internet. So let's connect this camera up. So the first thing we need to do um, is get the camera and actually attach it onto the bird box um, using the, the screws um, and, and mounting it to the back of the bird box um, at the top. And then we'll get the, the trailing wire and we'll make sure that's attached firmly against the side of the bird box and then uh, goes underneath the, the, the bottom of the bird box. Next step is to assemble the um, waterproof casing so you screw these all in together and then it should be nice and tight on there. Okay, so now with this, you'll want to um, attach this ethernet cable into the camera um, uh, connection and move them together and slide in place, making sure nothing comes out. Okay, that's great. Um, and as I said before, we won't need to use the power connection on here um, because the camera will be getting power from the Ethernet cable over power over Ethernet. So now that the camera is all connected, um, trail the Ethernet cable across your garden, probably pin it up against certain um, obstacles, sort of uh, keep it out of the way um, and then get it into your house. You may need to drill a hole in the wall for this. Um, and then uh, connect the end of the ethernet cable. You'll want to connect the end uh, to this section here that says power over ethernet. That just goes in there. And then you'll want to get the other uh, blue cable and then connect that into the LAN socket. And with the other end of your blue cable, you will connect that into a spare port on your router. Then you will plug in the power over ethernet with the power cable supplied and a green light should come on on the power over ethernet. And this means that the power is now going to the camera. Um, You'll want to focus the camera as well and make sure that the lens cap is off. Um, but you won't be able to see the, the focused image until you access the image on your phone or PC. So the Green Feathers um, Starter Guide has some really useful tips on how to, um, to view the images. You can use an app. Um, or you can uh, use software on your PC as well. So I've used the app, um, a little bit complicated to, to get in there, but once you, once you follow the instructions, you should be fine. Um, and, uh, and then you, you click on the camera once it's um, appearing on the app, and there you go. You can see the images. You may want to just focus uh, your camera just to get a nice sharp image. Um, but there you have it, you should be filming in no time. And uh, the app's great, you can record images, you can take photos. Um, you may have to enable um, audio on the app as well so you can hear the birds cheeping away. Um, 
and then sit back, enjoy it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It'd be great to see what you capture on your bird cameras, watching the, uh, the birds hatch and, uh, and grow up and fledge as well. There's so many exciting moments to capture on camera. If you did enjoy this video, please subscribe, please like it. Um, I always love seeing your comments as well. And um, if you want to check out the how to build a bird box video, um, please do so. There should be a link. And um, also I've made a video on how to build a bird table as well, which you might find interesting. So, hope to see you again soon. You take care now. This bird camera is the NCIP2. So if you were looking to, to get it, it's um, an IP bird camera, NCIP2 from Green Feathers. See you again soon.